A new heart is a necessity for a Buffalo teen who lives with a rare medical condition. She's had four open heart surgeries in her lifetime, but a transplant was always looming, and now she's on the donor list just waiting. Fox Science Corn Hoggard talked to the girl and her family about the emotional journey and making every day count. It's October, so pumpkin is on the menu for Natalie LaBelle. Natalie loves painting and arts of all kinds. She loves animals, including her service dog, Hominy. And like a lot of teens, she loves making YouTube videos. Please click like and subscribe. She also has cerebral palsy and a rare juvenile case of hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, a condition causing her heart muscle to get so thick it blocks blood flow to other parts of the body. Every day, the high school freshman can feel the effects on her heart. It's getting tired, and I need a new one. Natalie's been down this road before. She's had four open heart surgeries to replace a valve. She mostly just remembers all the tubes. Fox 9 was with her family after one of those surgeries in 2010 when she was almost two. It was a last-ditch experimental replacement using a valve from a pig. We use tissue valves in this position so rarely that I can't even tell the family whether it's going to last one year, three years, or five years. The valve beat the doctor's expectations, lasting 10 years. It bought her so much time, and through those 10 years, we've had some awesome adventures. The family visited Disney World and the NFL Hall of Fame, and Natalie got to ride horses and go to school. Her parents had time to focus on their other kids, including 20-year-old Isaiah, who also uses a wheelchair. They knew the valve would eventually fail, but fear left the spotlight. It's always there. It's always a thought. It's always a what if. Is it now? Is it, is it a thing? Um, but most of the time, yes, we try to keep that thought in the background. Natalie needed a fourth open heart surgery in March 2020, and the newest valve is losing function now, too. So as of this month, the Mayo Clinic got her on the donor list. A new heart could come any time. I'm very hopeful. And a little nervous. At the top of Natalie's list for putting her new heart to use is a trip to Sky Zone to jump on trampolines, which has been off limits for her. Her mother's vision jumps even higher. Getting a job at the local daycare and like growing up and just having a future that's not limited by a medical condition. The wait for a new heart is typically 10 to 12 weeks, possibly lining her up to get the gift of life for Christmas. How much better do you think your life will be? So much better. In Buffalo, Corn Hogger, Fox 9. I think her mom summed it up the best in all of her hopes for what can come next. Yeah. But we really want to get Natalie to Sky Zone more than anything. Wouldn't that be right fun? Yeah. yeah. Good luck, Natalie. Mm. Get that heart yeah. soon, right?